Yes, people, welcome back to West Ham and Official. I hope you are all well. It's time for another match day vlog. West Ham United taking the trip up to Molyneux. It's Wolves away today in a game uh, which is quite frankly and simply must win for the Hammers after dropping points uh, on too many occasions so far in this calendar year. We've come to the point now where we can't afford uh, to drop points against sides around us. So this is a massive, massive game today uh, and we are on our way up to Molyneux. So without further ado, let's get up there. I'm hoping today with Alvarez back in the side, uh, uh, we can have a little bit more uh, control over things and hopefully pick up all three points. Let's get to one of you. You know the drill. Come on, you irons. in Wolverhampton and of course the first port of call is the pub, the Blue Brick. Here we go, come on you eyes. Okay, then I'm here with the Wolves fan. How far have you travelled today to get here? I've travelled from France, actually. It's probably the uh, fifth time this year I've come from France. Uh, Central France to see, uh, see my favourite team, Wolves, yeah. So we've heard last weekend it didn't go to plan. What was the score? Uh, it's actually, we, we lost against another Claren Blue team called the Viles. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, 2 0, yeah, yeah, with the Villa. And let's grab your score prediction for today. What do you think it's going to be? Heart or head? Both. Head, the Hammers. Oh, heart, the Wolves. Oh. Two one. Either way. Love it. Thank Two you, one. mate. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Made it inside modern you. It's the beef and onion, minced beef and onion pie. No steak pie. Four pound fifty. We'll see what it is like. Oh. The sun is out here at Molyneux, the lineups have been released, Antonio has dropped down to the bench, Bowen leading the line, we can presume. The sun is out. Let's do a prediction now, shall we? What are we going for, mate? I don't like doing predictions, mate. We could do alright here today. Yeah. We've just been speaking to a Wolves fan, and he interviewed outside the ground. I had a little walk around the ground with him afterwards, and he's not very confident at all. West Ham 3, Wolves 1. Come on, you eyes. Okay, I'm here with John Matowski. John, let's have your prediction. Yeah, match prediction for me 2 1 West Ham United. Jaron Bowen to score. Love it. Come on, you eyes. I've sensed quite a lot of pessimism from the Wolves fans in the build up to this game today. They're not confident. Let's try and capitalise, get into them early. Half an hour to a kick off. Come on, you eyes. Do the business. This is a must win. Let's go. Well, it's 
been coming just under the, under the half an hour mark, penalty to Wolves. From here, it looked like Emerson won the ball, I don't know. They've deserved it, really have. And just to top it all off, it goes off the post and in. Oh, this has been a dreadful half an hour, absolutely awful. Nothing's gone our way and we haven't helped ourselves one bit. One nil Wolves, massive work to do. Oh, go on, Kudus. Half time here at Molyneux. One of the worst 45 minutes I've seen from West Ham all season and there's been some really bad ones out there. That was so bad. 1-0 down and thoroughly deserved that. Uh, did Wolves. We have been absolutely shocking. They've had intensity, we've had none whatsoever. Take a, get Antonio on at half time, get a focal point up front because we've just been spineless. Really, really poor. Half time, 1-0 down. Unless, unless we make drastic changes, that isn't changing. A huge response needed in this second half. Ben Johnson and Antonio have come on. That's what I said I wanted. Come on, West Ham. Put it in. Oh, that's on there. Oh, that's a bit better, West Ham. Come on. Bowen down and he stayed down. Not positive. Looks like he's picked up an injury. Been down for a couple of minutes now. Bowen's gone off and he's put Creswell on. What's that tell Corne, honestly? An hour gone, as soon as that bow and injury happened, that killed all momentum that we built up in the two minutes after uh, the interval. It's just been shocking. Penalty West Ham. I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. We know what we are. We know what we are. Champions of Europe. We know what we are. I'll just hit it. energy and intensity about things. Let's go and get this winner. Come on, you Irons. Irons! Come on, you Irons! Oh! Effort now from Johnson. Put it either side of the keeper and it's in. All of a sudden, this is flipped on his head here. Ten minutes to go. We look at that side. Come on. Hit it! Hit it! Oh, no! It's a golden chance. How has Kudas not got a shot off there? Has to do better. Corner West Ham, me away and believe. Come on, your irons. Me away and believe.
I don't know where to start with that. Wolves won, West Ham two. Um, yeah, massive, huge, huge three points. It was a must today, uh, and we got it absolutely delighted uh, to take home the win. Obviously, there's uh, massive controversy over how it ended uh, and that offside. I haven't seen it back yet. I've listened to Gary O'Neill's uh, post-match interview where he was incredibly upset about the decision. Uh, he also said that uh, Moyes agreed with him that it was the wrong decision. So look, uh, we all get bad decisions, and we can all collect agree about how poor the PGMOL, the referees of VAR have been this season. It's actually nice for once f for us to get one go for us because uh, it seems like we very rarely get one uh, ourselves. But look, we've had a little bit of a helping hand along the way today. You've got to take it, absolutely, because uh, we needed the three points. We couldn't afford to drop points to another team around us after Newcastle last weekend. So look, buzzing with that. Uh, the Bowen injury didn't look too good. Hopefully that was impact and he can be back for Thursday. But yeah, as I said, we're moving into a huge, huge game on Thursday now. Let's just stay in the tie, stay in it over in Leverkusen, and then back home, you never know what might happen. A brilliant away day, the pub, the pie was very good, I must say, as well, and, of course, the ending, the result uh, for West Ham. First half was awful, uh, and Wolves deserved their one-goal lead, but second half, I thought we came into it with the inclusion of Ben Johnson and Mikel Antonio. They made a huge, huge difference uh, in the game, and they were the difference. That's it from me. If you've enjoyed this vlog, drop a like on it, subscribe to West Ham Official if you're new, and until the next one, come on, you are. What a win. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.